All right, you guys, so my screen filler is dry on my screen. I'm ready to print my uh, fourth color. Um, one thing to keep in mind, again, when you're working on this project is you do have to account for that time for the screen filler to dry between runs. You know, that you're, uh, you're going to be applying screen filler after every run except for your last one, you know, obviously because then you're done. But um, you just need to keep in mind that the screen filler does take time to dry. Even if you're using a hair dryer um, to speed up the drying time or a fan, just keep that in mind. You know, don't think that you're going to be able to get all the layers done, you know, in two hours before class or something on the on the day that it's due or whatever. Just be anticipating the time cost that it's going to take to, to do the project. Um, so, like I said, I'm ready to print my final, or final, sorry, my fourth color. I'll switch it over into time lapse to do, to do that. Um, and you can see that areas that I printed last time in the skull are now blocked. And so we're going to get something that looks more and more like the cat skull um, that I used in my image. And you're going to see more and more of the picture, uh, you know, the, the image of my friend's face that I used, you know, the photograph I used for this, for this print. Um, so like I said, like after three or four runs, the image really starts to show up and look like something. Um, you know, as an artist, you can choose to stop or slow down your reduction in some areas <clears throat> instead of others, and that can push things further into the background or forward um, if they have more contrast. So just keep that in mind. You know, you're not necessarily stuck making something that looks, um, you know, photographic like the image that I'm kind of basing my image on. You know, you can make all sorts of artistic decisions with how you apply the filler and how you build up your colors. But again, generally, you're going to print from light to dark. That's just the best way to get used to, uh, you know, kind of training your brain to think that way in layers is uh, really, really good in the long run. All right, so I'm going to switch into time lapse. And play. Thank you.